Usamanza is getting exactly what she deserves. She must never play the victim. She must never play the victim. Karma found her address, guys. That's it. Welcome back to my channel, Self Love with my belief. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please, please, please do the right thing. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any content that I post. If you are a return subscriber, I love you so much. Okay, you are family. Thank you for coming back. It means so much to me. In this video, guys, we're going to react to Nagwe 2 Happily Ever After. Kondanisa and Mamani u Samantha Mazubuko families met. What a disaster. What a disaster, guys. I'm not if I'm sub Samantha Jengoba um comments on there are refusing to acknowledge Uguti Usamenta Uya de Lela Kaye. There is no explaining away it behavior yak. Konda Nisa Nae, he's getting exactly what he signed up for. But we're going to talk about it. So, Konda Nisa and Family Rep Yake, they went and they met um, Samantha's family. So it was Samantha, Samantha's aunt, who's also a spiritual guide, Sake Gobela Yake, um, and Samantha's uncle. Okay? So it's the five of them. What a disaster. Kondanisa is stating his case. Um, Uguti, Samantha, from the very beginning, um, was questioning the paternity of the child that they apparently shared together. So Manje will have to use Igameti apparently because it DNA test so we are not sure if it's 99.99 but okay. Samantha um, during this meeting while going to say stating his case Samantha is just you can you can already tell that she's irritated she's irritated from when Kondisa came into the room she was irritated um, Samantha's aunt but okay, guys, you know, when Samantha's aunt reacted to what Kondanisa said, it gave me the impression, Yoguti, this is actually the upbringing, the ascending. Samantha has not fallen far from her family tree because the aunt, Kwayena, I understand there's the point of defending from class because that's what Samantha did she her actions are shameful guys shameful shameful there's a difference between defending your child or Moshile and just being plain outright rude wrong and on top of that I feel as though Ukonda Nisa, as much as Naune fought, yeah, okay, we're going to get to that. I see Kola Pugamache, guys, we're dealing with Samantha and her actions. And then we have U Bab Kangile. Um, this, this, what this table, guys? This table is very painful to watch for me. It's very painful. Um, to watch because you have Umam Kulu who has been in this relationship with Ubab Kanyile for the longest of time and she you know during this time does not fall pregnant right and because she's not able to give her husband a child she feels um, less of a woman guys can you imagine how that must be like where you don't feel enough because 
you you can't um how do i say it you can't uh, live up to his standards they seem to. because in 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 those kind of situations people are more focused on you know where are the kids where are the kids where are the not even about building a, a solid um you know foundation of a marriage that honey that's not even part of it you just need to start you know building that soccer team so i really i really feel as though um it was a good move though on bab kangile side because in the previous episode he asked for advice from musa mseleko and i think then he came to his senses right but in this episode that i'm reacting on um it stems from umam kulu then saying to bab kangile uguti as umam kulu she prefers that it be her who falls pregnant first before mamani only to find out uguti when bab kangile now wants to deliver the message to mamani uguti mam kulu uti she wants to be first um to fall pregnant she wants to be first to be in and out of isona rooms labor and then umamngani says well guys little too late because i am already pregnant and guys the attitude the attitude it was almost like a victory uguti i stole your man right i took him from right under your nose and i'm able to give him what you cannot give him right now and when um in this episode they met for lunch it was babkanile mamngani and mamkhulu and now babkanile is breaking this news down to mamkhulu ukuthi hayi umamngani is already pregnant guys she stood up i felt that I felt that she stood up what you can I please excuse myself she went to the bathroom and she cried yo i you know what ne this i feel like you know i need to yo guys it, i need to prepare myself after watching um between isngani this temple now mna kwethu i feel like i need counseling prior and post So before watching I need counseling. After watching I need counseling because it is too much guys. It is too much. It is too much. It is too much. So Umam Kulu comes back from the bathroom. She sits down and you can just tell how humble she is. From the response guys, from the response. That's the reason why um I feel like le 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 position amam kulu am fanela because she was that woman you know that woman that fixes another woman's crown she was that woman it broke my heart and i know uguti jingoba she's welcoming this baby and get yena u decide uguti is temple something that she wants to do so i really pray uguti jengo but she accepted um this baby that is on the way that ungulungulu can open her womb up obviously if it's in god's plans because remember it's god who gives us kids but i really hope uguti um she gets the desires of her heart guys because yo i go be go be But anyway, thank you so much for watching my video. Um if you have not yet subscribed, you still do have the opportunity to do so. Bye.